This is Jason Holowicki with the Emergency Plumbing and Drain in El Cajon, California. We have the MC30 we purchased and uh, the few inspections we've used it on, we have a, an issue where the angle of the camera is not pointing down the pipe. There is hardly any spring to the camera because of the sun that sits in between and we're going to go ahead and show uh, two recordings. The first one we have the centering guide put on the end of the camera head. So we're going to go down this three inch vent which will lead into the beginning of the sewer line. For So you can see immediately all we're seeing is about a third of the pipe or so because the angle so rigid and then we come to a Y junction here with a two inch picks up the other vent and it actually wants to ride itself down that so we actually have to forcibly twist the push rod to make that angle go the opposite way it shows you how stiff that camera and, and spring are they're holding it making it want to go a certain way and we're now down inside the three inch cast iron We've got a little bit of debris on the camera face here, so we're going to pause the video for a second while we flush some water across the camera face. Okay, we flushed off the camera face there. We have the LEDs on full. So, here's a little T-junction. Clean out. So you can see about half the pipe is completely black. We're looking at the wall of the pipe, um, and it looks like it's the top of the pipe. Um, so the water's running on the bottom. You can kind of hard to tell actually at any angle, but look at our camera. It's barely showing what's in the line. It's not showing 360 degrees of what's in the pipe. It's only showing the hard angle that it's being pushed at. And that is unfortunately in this particular case here that we're going down, the upper part of the pipe. We're not even seeing the bottom, any debris or anything. So everything else is completely pitch black. And we do again have the lamp switch on full. We can show you here by dimming it down. That's all the way down. That's all the way up. We still haven't seen the bottom of the pipe whatsoever. I'm trying to determine if the bottom of the line has any cracks or roots in it. We have roots farther up in the system, we know. Okay, now we've gotten all the way out, only you see almost 60 feet in total here, including the vertical, and we're at an ABS T junction, and that is a clean out at the property line for the sidewalk. So now we're making a vertical downturn. Now we've got a view right there as we're going down this vertical. Now we're making a 90 right here at the bottom of the pipe. And we can see now here's a transition to clay that we have on there. Um, so we've made two more 90s and now the camera happens to be resting at that position um, that's showing the way we should be showing at all times. So we're going to go ahead and pull back the camera now to see just coming back in reverse if we still have the same view of the cast iron. And sure enough, as you can see, we're dragging a little bit of cobwebs there that were hanging out in that clean-out tee. So we're still pointing at the cast iron at a weird angle because there's basically no spring to this line due to the big sawn that sit, they cut in between. Um, and uh, we have no view. This is a pointless inspection here. So we're going to go ahead and keep pulling back and then we're going to go ahead and show the camera without the centering guide, see if that helps make any difference. we okay, finally pulling back there, we've got it a little bit better of a view, but it's still not the way it should be. We're coming up the vertical vent now. Making some trouble with our line, getting caught on this little spindle wheel. We've had issues with this. We have a little bit longer push rod in this one, and it gets bound up around this little guide wheel so we have to force it to the outside of that otherwise it doesn't work. I'm going to wipe off the camera face here, that little bit of debris. Now we're going to go ahead and unscrew 
the ball guide here. This was the front and that is the back piece. So now we have just our KK18 camera head on this. So can't even again really bend it um, to go back around but it's very very stiff. Let's see now without that Again, we have the lights on full. Let's see if we have any better view. Now, that's what we expect to see right there. Now, we're forcibly trying to get it centered. Um, we're now going to go down this vent again. So you can see we're black on one side. Boom. Wants to go through that secondary Y. We have to force the cable around in a different path. Okay, we're now back into the cast iron again. And so same issue. So as you can see here, the screen is showing the very top of the cast iron. Everything else is black. Now right there, we should be seeing down the line and seeing what the pipe looks like. And we have literally no view of this pipe whatsoever. I couldn't give this inspection or recording to a homeowner or a customer because it doesn't show anything but the top of the pipe. Um, this doesn't make any sense whatsoever uh, that this was quality control tested by Roush Germany or Roush USA. This is unacceptable. Uh, this, this is, again, not any type of image here. We're going to scoot by. Now, see, right there, we're getting a little bit better of what we expect to see. But we missed all the other further... Oops, excuse me. I'm trying to get around this guide. So again, now, but now as we start pushing forward, again, we lose the complete image of the pipe. I can back up, we just don't have it still. We push forward, still don't have it. We're dragging due to the curvature of this fitting and spring assembly towards the top of the pipe. That's how it's laying. So I can't twist the cable and force it another direction, of course, and uh, this is giving me incomplete inspection for the cost of this unit. So we're going to go ahead and pull back here. Actually, you know what? Let's go all the way forward and complete the same run we did without the ball centering guide. So still dragging on the top, not showing, laying in the pipe and giving us a good quality view. Um, Again, this is only a three inch cast iron pipe. This is not a really large pipe. You were actually dragging on that debris, and that's the top of the pipe. You can see that's not where the water and wetness is. So, I mean, if this was laying down at a uh, point in the bottom, maybe it would be a little more helpful, but not there. You can see the water on the bottom of the pipe um, as we get it to this plastic. Now, this plastic transitions to four inch. Um, at, after the turn here. So right at this turn now, this is four inch pipe. We're going vertically down and then again we are making one more 90 here and now our four inch is transitioning to clay pipe coming up. So that concludes this recording that we're going to send to Roush and see how they want to resolve this issue.